This specific variation is the Argus AF, which differs from the Argus A in that it has a focus ring. The original Argus A had a two position focus barrel. To determine what model you have, you can open the back of the camera using this tab here. And generally, a serial number will be here, and your model number will be here. Mine doesn't have that. <laughs> Some different models have extinction meters, different shutters, different lenses, and they don't have a tripod socket. This is a model AF. When I first got this model, the lens was very stiff, so I had to lubricate it with oil. The shutter didn't work. It was jammed. I took apart the front lens assembly and unjammed the shutter. I then used goo off, as some people use lighter fluid, to remove all the gunk and goo on the shutter mechanism. Generally on these shutters, if the time function works, the shutter works. The time function is one press opens the lens, another press closes it. B is for bulb. You press and hold, and when you let go, the shutter closes. This specific shutter has one two hundredth of a second, one one hundredth of a second, one fiftieth of a second, and one twenty fifth of a second. Each B gets progressively slower. The next thing is your aperture. If you notice this little dot here, as you rotate the ring, this corresponds with the aperture on top. Disregard that I'm missing a screw there. These cameras were not expensive cameras, and if there's something wrong with them, they're probably relatively easy to fix. One thing you're definitely going to have to do is lubricate your sprockets here. This releases the advance mechanism and you can rotate the sprocket forward. If you notice here, this piece of metal up on top is caught by a brass keeper. I'll cut to a close-up of this and show you. This gear on top corresponds with a gear behind that's connected to the, sh the frame counter. the sprocket and advance the film, your frame counter should move. Right now it's on 14. I take my exposure. It should go to 15. And it does. When I bought my this camera, I paid $3 for it. The lens was stiff. The advance was broken. I had to lubricate this here. There's a ball bearing on the bottom. And I'm missing my viewfinder glass. Without viewfinder glass, it made it very difficult to compose but it's just a general 50 millimeter lens. Another thing about this camera is it works like this. And as you press down, you have to make sure you're at infinity focus and lock it like that. There's baffles on the inside of the camera. Let me see if I can get the light to expose here. Not really. This baffle here created a lot of dust and dirt on my negatives that I wasn't expecting. It essentially ruined my roll of film. That I exposed to the Sunny 16. Now with Sunny 16, this doesn't have F16, this has F11. And I shot 400 speed film in a very bright day at the beach. So as you can imagine, it's not ideal. I'm very happy with pulling two stops of Arista Premium 400. However, I will never use this camera again. I, I may try a metal barrel type, but this is just not worth it to me to ruin a roll of film from this baffle here. With that said, I'm very pleased with the essence of this lens. 
it gives a very nostalgic look to it that is very difficult to replicate. If you scan your negatives, I don't think that would be, it's not really hard to get the dirt and dust out of it, it's just a little time consuming. But if you're going to print in the dark room like I do, uh, it's just not worth the trouble. I would just as soon shoot a different camera. With that said, it's hard to match the quality, um, not necessarily supreme quality, but the uh, characteristics of this lens. Uh, it, like I said, it has a very nostalgic look. That smiley face is not original. Another thing is you want to make sure, if you're going to shoot this, that the back is in working order. When I got this back here, my pressure plate fell off, so I super glued that. This foam is very deteriorated, which could cause some dust and dirt inside the negatives. I ran some super glue along the edge of this because I wanted to shoot it the next day and I didn't have any foam to replace it with. Some people I've seen replace that with like a mouse pad material, which would probably work fine. I will not be doing that because I'm not gonna shoot this camera again. Overall though, I'm, I really like the look of these images. I'm just not crazy about this mechanism here. And um, I'm not very good at zone focusing either. So that's not something I'm gonna waste my rolls on. Another thing I will say is that collapsing the lens to this position here doesn't lock the shutter. So you run the risk of uh, multiple exposures on one frame. Uh, because I was going to the beach and it was going to be in a bag and things like that, I wanted to make just a quick lens cap. And this is not very good looking. But this is just a piece of PVC pipe with a piece of rubber on it and it fits tightly to the lens. I would recommend that just so you're not wasting film.